Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the View into Hux World. And today I got the Google Assistant on my Galaxy Watch. Now I didn't do the Gears 3 yet, but I will get to that sometime this week. Now I want to know from you guys, have you downloaded this yet? And if not, will you download it? Make sure you hit me in the comment section down below. I would really like to know. Now, before we get started, I'm going to leave two links in the description. One is going to be where you can go get the application for the Google Assistant. The other one is going to be where you can go to get step-by-step -step instructions for how to install this on your Galaxy Watch and or your Gears 3. Now, with that being said, let's kick this review off. Now, first off, I got to tell you, it's half-baked. It's not fully baked yet, but it gives you enough to say, hey, let's download this one, at least in my opinion. Now, we're going to talk about some of the things that it does not do because it is half-baked. So, there are some things you're not going to get like what we would get on the Google smartwatches. Cool? With that being said, let's check this out. But this is what I did to make it convenient. I went to a feature and all you got to do is simply just drop your screen, tap on your settings, go to advance. Once you go to advance, you tap on that and then what you're going to do is you're going to tap on it again. You're going to look for G Assistant Net, tap on that and the dot is going to light up blue and you're all good, right? So I'm going to get out of here and now what I can do is double tap whenever I need to get to my Google Assistant. Now, I don't want to go into power saving mode. Now we're here. What time is it? It's 10.42. See what you get? That's not bad at all. No pictures, no nothing like that. Let's try it again. Now, another thing that I can't do, at least I couldn't get it to do it, is to auto, like, say, okay, I'm not going to say the whole name. Let's just say, okay, Sam, and it automatically takes me into it. It will not allow me to do that. So the developer is saying that there's an update coming that's going to bring about a lot of things that we normally would get on the Google smartwatches. So we just got to simply wait. But for now, I think it's pretty cool. Let's check out some more commands. How far am I from Kentucky? Kentucky is 461 miles away from your current location. What's two plus two? The answer is four. Will it rain next Saturday? No, it won't rain in Kenosha Saturday. It'll be mostly sunny with a high of 85 and a low of 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I thought that was pretty cool. Let's give it another command. Who is the President of the United States? The President of the United States of America is Donald Trump. Who is his wife? Okay, couldn't figure that out. Now there's some other things that it can't do like call MH. Sorry, I can't make calls yet. Set timer for 15 minutes. Sorry, I can't manage timers on this device. So it won't do that. It won't pull up pictures like you can on the Google smartwatches, but we're one step closer to it. I thought that was pretty cool. I thought the assistant did a really good job at answering a lot of the basic questions. So in my opinion, I think it's worth the download. Now, here's one thing to note. Let's say your phone gets disconnected and you cut it back on because battery ran low or you're at the movies or you're at a business meeting and you had to cut it off. It takes a little bit before it actually reconnects. So once it connects to your phone and it connects to your watch, it doesn't actually kick in for a couple of minutes and then you can use it. But if you wanted to use it right away, you will not be able to use it right away after you cut the phone on. Now, is that a deal breaker? No, I still think it's a work in progress. I think the developer did an excellent job on it. But the question at the end of the day is, are you gonna download this Google Assistant onto your Galaxy Watch and or your Gear S3? All right, you all, that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. And if it was, please make sure you hit the like button on the way out. And if you want to see more videos like this, then by all means, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all again at the next video. Take care.